hello myself preeti today i am welcoming you on my youtube channel and uh, we are going to discuss about water masses so here we go water masses water mass is a body of water which has physical properties like temperature salinity and density distinct from surrounding water so suppose uh, we take this as a uh, as a water mass and it has physical properties like temperature salinity density and that is distinct or different you can say from the surrounding water okay uh, then suppose this we are taking as the bottom of a lake and here we are taking a water mass suppose we are uh, assuming here water mass which have a different physical properties like different temperature salinity and density uh, and uh, suppose we are considering here the surface of water here we are considering the water mass it has different physical properties different temperature salinity and density for example antarctic bottom water temperature uh, antarctic bottom water temperature so uh, the at bottom it will have lower temperature obviously than the surface water this uh, way like vary all the properties which we have at the at the surface level or at the bottom level now we are start uh, we have we are going to study about water mass impact so uh, first what it impacts on the coastal areas we are going to study okay uh, in this case we will study about land and sea breeze as you know uh, sea breeze uh, it occurs during the day time when the sun is overhead the land gets up heated like faster as compared to sea so it will have low pressure uh, low pressure over here at the land and over sea we have high pressure zone so the temperature as it is less so it will create high pressure zone over here so as we know that all air flows from high pressure to low pressure so the air above here will flow from high pressure zone to low pressure zone and this way the high pressure zone and low pressure zone and this whole way completes the when this air moves here this air will moves here and fill up the vacant space in this way the cycle goes on at night the reverse will occur at night the land we have high pressure zone and sea we have low pressure zone as we know land heats up faster and cools down slowly as compared to sea so during midnight or night you can say uh, the reverse will be occur this zone will have the high pressure zone and this zone will have the low pressure zone so air will flow from here to here that is land to sea that's why we know it as a sea um, a land breeze okay uh, so what is uh, the impact of water mass so the humidity and pressure of air above its surface is determined by the water masses so the which type of water mass is present over here will decide the overall humidity and pressure of air if it will contain more moisture then it will have high humidity and in case of low temperature it have it will create a high pressure zone so the coastal area environment gets affected by its uh, by it 
and uh, in turn we can see the uh, changes over the uh, climate over there that's all thank you